In the fall of 2017, I started coming to SUNY Cobuskill. I'd taken um, university in the high school uh, a couple of times, a couple classes, um, and I had always liked SUNY Cobuskill a lot. My name is Brittany Clark. I'm studying canine training and management. I'm from New York City, so when I like visited, going to the farm and like things like that, I was just like, oh my God, like this is so different. Like I really like this. And I was into animals, but I never had that experience in the city being able to interact with them so freely before. So I was like, I, I really want to come here. It was it was such a great experience here that I don't think any other college could have rivaled it. And a lot of colleges and stuff that I understand from friends that have gone to larger colleges, what I've always heard is you don't even get the professor, you get the TA. You never get to meet the professor, you never get the hands-on experience, you never get to talk to them, personal stories, connection. And the hands-on experience for me, especially like in the business department, was really great because I was able to uh, get real world examples, real situations, and I was able to hear stories and understand why certain things go down the way they do. Well, for me, I feel like SUNY Cobleskill, because it's not super small, but it is a little small, so um, it feels like just a, more of a community. Like everyone knows each other somewhat, or you see the same people mostly every day. And when you meet someone new, like it's not it's not scary. You just get to know them. It's always nice. I feel like when I first took my first like canine course, um, I had a class with Doc. It was just amazing to interact with him every few days of the week um, because he would tell stories and everyone would just be like so happy to hear them because we'd be excited to get out into the field one day like he was doing. Yeah, I thought the professors were very interesting. They were very real, um, talked about hands-on experiences, their past, and they really connected with me on a personal level and really made me want to commit here. I mean, business can be taught in a book, but that's only the concepts and the definitions. You don't get the the real understanding, the true understanding of what's going on. I think that's really awesome about SUNY Cobuskill, and I've heard that that's not the case in every every college. And I love tutoring. Tutoring, I think, is the most rewarding experience I've ever had. You get students from um, every walk of life, and so you really have to cater to what each student wants and needs. I had this student who, she was coming to me for psychology, and then she was talking about stuff that was like two, three chapters ahead of where they were in the class. It had nothing to do with her ability to understand the concepts. It was all about her confidence. She didn't have the confidence to do well in, the, in those tasks and stuff, and she wasn't doing well in the course. I built, hopefully, I think, a lot of confidence for her, and she ended up doing really well in the course. I believe she finished with an A or an A minus. She did really well. Up until that point, most of the students I had tutored were students that were doing really, really bad in the course, and it was because they weren't studying, they weren't great test takers, something like that. It was never about confidence, but yet she was about confidence, and it gave me this understanding of, okay, I need to look at it from a broader lens and understand that everybody doesn't walk from the same walk of life, and it gave me a true life lesson in that. I kind of just started uh, getting involved on campus a lot, and then I finally became an RA. Um, I really wanted to work with freshmen because um, when I was a freshman, it was just really hard to adjust. Um, and when I had my RA, she just made me feel more at home and just made me feel like I wanted to be here and enjoy my time here. So I wanted to give freshmen that same feeling if they were struggling, like being homesick and stuff like that. I just wanted to be there for them. And as an RA, you can definitely rely on me. So I want to be that for people. Um, but also a friend at the same time. We can just hang out too. We don't have to um, just only talk about if you're in trouble or something. <laughs> so that's what I really like about it, just being there and um, involved in all my residents' lives in some way.